Hi there, and welcome. I'm Idris, and today we're going to do a, a live demo on how to uh, compensate uh, alternatives to the clip brush. Um, for those who don't know, in uh, ZBrush, and not in ZBrush Core, there's a, a, a brush that is called Clip Curves Brush that is very, very useful to clean. Uh, to make sharp edges, to um, carve in your form, and you and it's not available in um, in ZBrush Core, but there are ways to compensate for that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to find. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, three techniques techniques to um, compensate for this. So let's get started. We're going to turn off our color. So imagine uh, you've just spent a couple of hours uh, working on your model, like so. Uh, you can check out my previous video on the, the, the speed uh, the speed sculpt I did for the, of this model. And now you want to take it to the next step, clean it up, and perhaps have it printed. So you can see bits and parts are here, but they aren't very cleaned. So let's have a look at our model. And on this one, we're going to clean off the, the sleeves and make it very, make it a clean edge. So uh, ZBrush Core was uh, designed to work with uh, Dynamesh. So we're going to make sure Dynamesh is turned on. I had subdivisions on that one we're just going to remove that so we have for the cleaning part it's nice to have a lot of polygons it's a bit too much we don't care not important so the first method to uh, compensate for the flip curves imagine if you wanted to uh, clean this edge the the sleeve you would uh, I'm gonna fake it with the mask pen tool, select curve, so you would make a curve like so, and everything that is in the uh, darker gray area would be uh, removed, would be crushed against the rest of the model, so, and techni technically would be uh, removed from the model. That doesn't work here so we're going to use the transpose tool not the 3d gizmo and we are going to tap in the middle of our uh, of the plane we want to uh, remove so make sure symmetry is turned on and we have our transpose tool and what you want to do is you want to click in the in the circle the middle of the circle on the lowest part like so and you want to move it inwards like so see it starts to uh, we have the upper sub tool that's intersecting so yeah you can see it made a clean plane it, it, it moves everything and crushes it along a plane along the axis of the transpose tool. When you tap on the surface, uh, the transpose tool um, aligns itself with the, with the normal of where you tapped. So when you select this surface in the middle, it's going to align to the middle of, this, of that surface. And that's what we use to uh, clip our model to have Clean edge. Going to do it. Do it again with our other sub tool. Tap in the middle. Move it away. Yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Dynamesh again, and you have a clean edge. So that, that's one way to have a 
to mimic the clean edge uh, you could get with uh, clip curves, but you have less control. It's a way to do it. Uh, another method is to uh, make selections. We're going to try and clean this color up. You can see here um, it's a bit janky. So we're going to use, by pressing control, we're going to use the mask uh, tool. We are going to make sure we have uh, curve selected. Then we're going to um, we're going to mask the part we want to uh, remove by pressing Alt. You can anchor your uh, curve and it gives you more control to make the exact curve you want. First, before that, we're going to jump back into the Dynamesh set settings and we're going to increase the resolution. Have a nice clean. So let's do our curve again. Perfect. And now we're going to go to split and the subtools palette and go to split and split masked points. So, and now our masked points are in another subtool. We're going to uh, delete that because we don't need it anymore. Now we have made our cut, but there's a big hole, but that's not a problem. To Dynamesh, we're going to turn Polish on to make sure everything stays sharp. And we're going to Dynamesh again, and it's going to close our hole. So now we have a, a clean curve. So yeah, that's something that is closer to what you could do in, uh, in ZBrush. It takes more steps, but it's a, it's a way to mimic this result. But it, it won't work in every situation. Like for instance, we're going to try and uh, do the same thing here. Mask this off. We're going to try and remove all of this. Split mask. And then see our curve we have now? If we Dynamesh. It's cleaner, but it, it, it didn't keep the, the the curve we wanted. When it Dynamesh and closed the hole, it went. Sh the algorithm did something that isn't exactly what we wanted. So it's cleaner than before. This was before. This is now. On for now, so it's a lot cleaner, so it's always nicer, but it isn't exactly what we want. So, masking, uh, masking, and deleting will sometimes not yield the exact result you wanted, so you have to keep that in mind. But it's uh, it's something to play, play around with. So, I'm not sure that's going to work, for instance. Split mast, Dynamesh, huh, not too bad. Not too bad. You can always go in. You can always go in with the hard polish brush and 
clean it up ever so slightly. So there. So yeah, if you wanted to do this, you would need to because you can't do the. Um, if you try to do the clip, uh, the clip, uh, the curve brush, the curve mask option, it doesn't really work very well with uh, sharp, uh, sharp, sharp angles, as you can see. So you would need to do uh, the lasso tool, mask lasso, and be very, very 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 steady with your hand like so split delete and mask again not too bad so yeah mask split them off Redynamesh, and that's one way to do it. And the other way to do it that may yield better results. So imagine you wanted to um, 3D print this. Uh, if you want, if you go in and make, uh, pick the curves again. If you made this curve. and you split mass and you dynameshed it it like previously it didn't it didn't work exactly like we wanted so the other way to go about this is uh, using the uh, power of dynamesh so we're going to Append a cylinder, and then we're going to like this. We're going to move it using the gizmo. We're going to move it down, and we're going to rotate it using shift to snap it at the angle we want then we are going to scale it horizontally move it again move it down scale it way up move it down side scale it and by um, transforming the um, the appended cylinder, we're going to try to uh, match the, um, the curve we wanted. So, match the arm. It's not too bad. Go back to draw. We're going to divide this a couple of times so we have a nice curve. We're going to move it up. And now we are going to, in our subtool palette, we're going to select the second option. Um, there are two circles here. That means when the uh, models are merged together, they will uh, be merged together when you dynamesh. The second option means they would this part will be subtracted from the first part and this uh, is um, this means the both models will be subtracted sub, subtracted excuse me and all that will be left out is the intersection. So we're going to subtract this, then we're going to go back to 
the part we want to subtract it from. We're going to select merge, merge down. Press OK to confirm. And now we are going to Dynamesh and bam, it's done. Now we have a, a nice curve that matched the model we used. And that's the uh, third option to uh, to uh, compensate for the lack of a clip brush. So you have to pick uh, which one is uh, better suited for the uh, the kind of uh, clipping you're going to make. If it's a, a fat a flat surface, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Transpose tool. If it's uh, a long stroke, you could uh, you can use the masking split off. And if not, then you can uh, then you can use the uh, boolean subtract from Dynamesh. You can also do it. Um, another way you could do it is uh, imagine imagine uh, you wanted to make um, uh, you wanted to clip this using the boolean method, but you didn't want to import uh, to append a model. You can also use the um, insert mesh primitive. We're going to pick the cube. We are going to uh, insert the cube. Like so, and then now you can move it, scale it. Uh, you can uh, scale it up so then you split unmask select subtract merge down dynamesh There you go. That's one way to do it. You could um, you could also um, I haven't done this prior, but if you wanted, you could append a mesh, a dummy mesh. So, mesh 3D, then click import and import um, a model you did outside of ZBrush and that you could use to make a subtraction. So if you had, um, if you wanted to make something very um, specific, if you had, uh, if you have access to another, it's, it's becoming very, very complicated, but you could do a, a, a very specific angle to, a, to a, you can model out in another software what you want to remove, you could import it and then uh, select to uh, sub uh, subtract it from the main model and that would also work. And there you go, that's about it. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.